compliments of the season to you, viewers. Um, I welcome you to Writing Theatre Channel. I am your regular host, Dr. Dele Omon Juigbe. I ask you, have you ever frozen when you do public speaking? If you haven't, many people have. And many people are still experiencing such. They are still freezing. Why do people have stage fright? That is the reason we are here. That is the essence of today's lecture. People freeze when they see an audience. They immediately have what we call stage fright. I give you two case studies. I had a very brilliant student some years back. He came first in the creative writing class. So the following semester was when they had to do speech presentation. On that course, we entitled Speech Making and English Pronunciation. Everybody has spoken. I wasn't too keen. I was waiting for this boy to come up and speak. And then when his name was called, I was one of those who clapped for him extensively. As he stepped on the stage, he froze. He became blank. He became dumb. He couldn't say a word again. He was transfixed to a spot. We were waiting for him to come up. He couldn't utter a word. And then I raised the clapping. I began to clap. And others joined me to clap. We clapped and clapped and clapped. The boy didn't revive. He couldn't be revived. Our clapping couldn't revive him. He had frozen. Why? Stage fright. I have another example. A woman came to me some years back. Via referral. And she came sobbing. Then I asked her what the problem was. She told me that her job was on the line because her young lady had just joined her co company and the MD had suddenly piqued interest in that young lady. And then I asked her, what was the problem? She told me that she herself now, who came to me, was very close to the MD before. And that each time the MD was traveling, he would commission her to do virtually everything that he was doing when he was around. But immediately this young lady came. The MD shifted interest to the young lady. And then I asked her if she suspected anything. She said she didn't suspect anything. That truly, the young lady was versatile. She could write, she could speak, she was bold, she could face an audience. Then I asked the, the woman, do you, do you get frightened when you face an audience? And she confessed to me that, yes, it was true. Because she, she wasn't sure of her, of her language. And then I asked her again, do you use another language different from the one you are speaking to me? He said, no. Are you sure you use English when you speak? She said, yes. I said, then you don't have a problem. You are speaking good English. She said, no, she, she wasn't sure. I said, I'm telling you that your language is good. Your expression is almost impeccable. Your expression is good, faultless. Now the issue is this. She lost confidence in herself. And that was the reason she couldn't face an audience. The moment you lose confidence in yourself in anything, you have virtually lost everything. That young boy in my class couldn't speak because he was afraid. Now, number one thing that you need to know anytime you want to face an audience to speak is that you must have confidence in yourself. Number two, the people that have gathered are your friends. So that boy who was very brilliant didn't remember that the people that had gathered were his friends. They weren't his foes. They weren't adversaries. They were his friends. They weren't his enemies. They were his friends. He didn't remember that. So number one is that remember that conf your confidence is important. Number two is that the people that have gathered to listen to you are your friends. Number three is that you have to be psychologically stable in the sense that just remember always that the people that have come to listen to you believe that you have something special to tell them, which means that you are special as a person. Again, number four is that you do your research. Ensure that you are knowledgeable enough to give your speech. 
because knowledge is power. The moment you have knowledge, full grasp of what you want to present to your public, to your audience, you have confidence. Remember, what gives you confidence is knowledge. And what gives you knowledge is preparation. The moment you know that this is the topic you want to present, since it's not an impromptu speech, it is just extemporaneous speech, the speech you give offhand, the speech you give without reading from a text, from a script. So you prepare yourself. Face your mirror when you get home and speak to the mirror. Observe your, your, your thoughts and correct them. Then you can also speak to an audio tape and listen to yourself. Make sure you pronounce, you rehearse, and then you pronounce your words beautifully. And then again, if you know that you are too afraid of, the, of the, the, uh, your audience, why not wear glasses as I'm wearing now? Okay, maybe that one will shield psychologically uh, your fears. Okay? But the most important thing is that you always need to remember that you are special. You have a special leverage. You have, you have something that the people that have come to listen you, to you don't have. So the moment you realize all that, you'll be fine. And I can assure you that the next time you speak to an audience, you clap for yourself. I welcome you again, and I say thank you one more time for listening to me. I am uh, your host one more time, Dele Omojiwe. Until we see you next time, I uh, strongly uh, enjoy you to subscribe to this channel. You can share the video. You can make your comments known. You can. Um, like the the video and until I come your way again next time I say bye for now